Hello everyone, in this video we are going to solve question 3 of exercise 6.3 class 6 NCRT math chapter is integers. Question 3 is fill in the blanks and we have 5 parts in question 3. First part is minus 8 plus what is equal to 0. That means what number you should add to minus 8 to get the result as 0. So this is very easy when you add the same number with different sign then you will get the result as 0. So first blank will be 8. The next one is also the same type. This is 13 plus what number will give you the result as 0. So this is plus 13 and you are adding a number to it. The number you are adding must be of the opposite sign so that when you add the two numbers you are going to get the result as 0. Here you see that we are having two symbols you are adding a number so what you should add you, you should add a negative number of the same value to a positive number to get the result as 0 because plus and minus will become minus so 13 minus 13 will be 0 so this is minus 13. Now C part is 12 plus minus 12 is equal to what? So we have 12, we will write it as is. Now we have two symbols, plus and minus. So plus and minus will make it minus. When the signs are not the same, we are going to get minus. So plus and minus will give you minus, minus 12. So 12 minus 12 will be equal to 0. Here we are adding plus 12 and minus 12. So plus and minus of the same value will get cancelled to 0. So third blank is 0. Now D part is minus 4 plus what number will give you negative 12? If we take a positive number here, let's say 3, then minus 4 plus 3. So minus and plus. So the two number will get subtracted. So we are not going to get a bigger value number. So we are not going to use positive number here. So we should take a negative number. So let's put a negative sign. And negative 4 plus what will give us 12? 12 is bigger in value. So 4 plus 8 will give us 12. And both the numbers are negative. And when both the numbers are negative, we are going to get a negative sign. So this is negative 8. Third blank, fourth blank is negative 8. So in part E, we have to subtract 15 from some number to get the result as minus 10. Let's first consider the one negative number here. If we'll take any negative number here, so negative and negative will make the number bigger than 15. So we cannot take a big negative number here in this blank. So we will take a positive number. Let us take a positive number which is bigger than 15. If we will take a positive number which is bigger than 15 then the result will be a positive number because we have a positive number and a negative number and positive number is bigger so we will put the sign of the positive number. So we cannot take a bigger positive number. So we have to take a number which is positive and less than 15. So 15 minus what will give you 10? So it's the number is 5. This is plus 5 and minus 15. So 15 minus 5 is 10. And the sign is of the bigger number which is 15. So negative 10. E part will be 5. Let's fill out the other parts too. So this is plus 8. This is minus 13. This is 0. And this is minus 8. This completes question 3 of exercise 6.3. I hope this is helpful. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos. Thanks for watching.